Hello, everyone. Welcome to the... God, from... You know, I don't even care about what the name is, man. It's great. Into everybody. Oh yeah, Sage. Do you know the name of the person who I showed you in that image? Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids I'm in the campfire. They were scarred know. for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> Oh, this part. Actually, I do not like, stuff, I don't want to know because my brain isn't Dude, draining. bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Wow, what's hey, yeah, yeah, I'm nearly you... done, Mr. H. No, Hop to it. Don't. Get those butts in gear. You mean no sense. Sorry, what? Mr. H. Where, who, how, yeah, huh? deliberate some luggage. Shut Where, how, what, when? Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? <laughs> well, yes, I do. <laughs> but, you know... I died. I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. <gasps> Oops. No. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. I do not ask. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I no, can get say a little charge? Why am I, I want to have some chance uh, for the rest. Guess what? No can do. What? Chicken butt. I still got my juice. <laughs> cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, huh? no big deal. You can share my earbuds. You <laughs> got no choice. I'll pick your own. Now give me my turkey so I can charge my phone. Why are you both so no strange? Asked. So, uh, because Chris, I, I have crippled. We got a moment to talk. No, Mila. Uh, uh oh. You're not allowed to. I'm not fired, am I? I'll call the cops. <laughs> no, as, uh, it's just you know about the whole thing with the. Hold up, hold up, hold I know, I know. We'll be away. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. What? Okay. Let me take my. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Do you understand? Do you understand? I'm not your mom. Hey, yo, pause. Arf. She just called me mom. <laughs> That's kind of sus, my guy. I got his back. No, no, I know what you're going to do, Nina. Nina, fine. We can watch, we can watch YouTube. And listen to music. Not too loud. And you can't sit. No singing. Sorry about that, bud. You know Sorry why we that, can't bud. sing. Copyright claim. Didn't mean to push you out like that. Sing, yeah. Don't sing. I really it doesn't matter. Sooner or later, I'm gonna get one, so it doesn't matter anymore. E uh, you need a hand? I'm not Looking trying to make you use your uh, no, lose your YouTube summer, channel. I'm busy, I busy. Can't if so, I get three strikes, anyway, then I will lose my channel. You were asking me? I don't have oh, one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And the whole good. animation school thing, what you thought I should do. That's right. why I'm you, not you know, going to make listen, you... you know, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents. What? Since I'd have to live on campus, so, you know. And thank you. My mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave I Sarah still watch her your own. YouTube channel. Our, fam our family's right, small I enough as it is. Oh, no. Family is important. Subscribe right. to my channel like you unfriended me on Discord. Dang it. Yeah. Either way, I would still never unsubscribe. Mm, I almost dropped my war ball and I hit myself. God. Ow. Are you okay? Um. Yeah, I guess. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. Yes. Feeling new. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. Because I can't make something for one of the good ones. Oh, but my mom. 
But do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter. These terrified kids that they send home. Hmm. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. More than I love my cat. I'm joking, I love my cat way more than my mom. I'm sorry, I just don't care for my mom. Sorry, I, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. I wonder where I, I get it from, Mila. I the repercussions of your I actions, Buster. I get my rudeness from. It's a big part of get being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Did I not even notice either? Just stick to Kumbaya either. next time, okay? What's that? I'm a dumber. You guys don't do Kumbaya anymore? <laughs> don't do Good kumbaya. grief. I'm that outgrowing sucks. my own cliches. Even I, don't, I, even I don't know what that is. I. Oh. Seriously, Chris, yeah, what's no. going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge down. before the sun goes down. I just remembered where I get my douchebag mess from. Being a douchebag. Where? My mother. Ah! My grandma. Oh, oh! I thought I thought you got it from the earth. I thought you got it from yes. yourself. No, I got it from my mom because the way my mom is. She... Um, oh. you're. It's... Can we even plug it in, Chris? Totally. Yeah. Oh, okay. Best to get you all out of harm's Sorry. way. Woods are chock full of live game, and local hunters hop to it the second camp's <laughs> over. It's not safe. There we hmm. go. I know. God damn. Where in the good goddamn are they? Damn, why is the TV so Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again Some next year. Sure Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. Well, mine's like all they both the just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? You know that, Nemo. Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But mm -hmm. I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Mm. Right where I left him. Uh -huh. Let's get out of Why was the keys in the cup? Huh? Mako is an actual movie. Oh, Artard. Like me. Make sure they're all ready to go. I slay a For real this time. According to Nila. Can you just chill? Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Ooh. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing no, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. I hope you fall. Shit. Stop Come on. shaking Come on. your Chill. butt. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm I tell you, do I hope you fall on your face? No offense. Damn it! You don't call me. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. We it, it should be working. Something. Yeah, well, oh coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, yeah, does it? Um, question. What? What would happen if I, or if I broke the fuel line in the car? Would someone have gotten uh -huh. hurt, or someone would have died? If I'm correct, it would be neither. The car would just burst into flames. Uh. Yeah. 
It sucks. I, w I wish she would die. I wish she died. I'm sorry, when I just have to say that, I wish she did die in that first five <laughs> seconds and only just turns the engine. Okay, time to turn. Goodbye, <laughs> bitch. You have, bye bye. you have been barbecued. You've been barbecued. Just like my ass. Like my crusty ass self. Is this a good one? I'm adopted. Not really. I wish. Cool, and I have. I kind of wish. I... And I'm. Ha there is. And I had an anxiety attack today and almost died. Cool, there's soap everywhere. <laughs> and I hope. I wonder why. I kind of wish I did, though. Just some bye bye. Cool. Milo. You can. Soon, like in two weeks. I don't want to wait that long. Too bad. I'm in Love is what I want. Damn it! But I don't think I'm good enough to keep that type. Okay. Let's shut up. Okay. Let's Look, shut it's not up. That big of a deal. Okay. I know we'll what you're gonna say. Spend one more night here. No. No. Just stop. No, not you. Let I'm talking think. to Mila. Mila, do not. Do not. Damn it. Oh, you're right, you're right, don't. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. I will beat you up. Stop singing, girl. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Hey, yo. Lodge? Okay. Or... McKenna. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll All get you out on the road. You just have to keep mm -hmm. everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? Yeah. Uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. No, we do not stay go outdoors. We stay indoors. Why can't you... We follow no, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in. Nick, you're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? To keep you safe from going outside. 
he did seem freaked out. So poor. He was just concerned for us. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you. Uh, the group is getting. You don't want to disappoint Daddy. Ryan. Some oh. Someone's got. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told me. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. To be honest, they can go kill themselves at this point. Ryan, all right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, yes. okay. First things Everyone first. Can... Nick and Abby, no. you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores no for some me. supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just—I don't know—figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Yep. Apparent, I think I solved it where Ryan will not be a part of their Thank group you. now. I think I saved Ryan. People who basically are part of this whole situation that started this, trying to protect the others, like the normal people. I was hoping you'd come back to yeah. me. Why are they doing that? They wouldn't get anything. Let's see what you them. found. Empty handed. Exactly. You need to look around well, you, know, you find my cards, find and cards. I can help you. Oh, Where I'm help. from, we look out for help. each other. Find them, please. No. <laughs> I will not find them. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. No, how about I just play the Look game? Look out for cards. my cards. How about I just avoid all cards in general and just play the game without them? Dean! I was coughing. I get it. Please shush. It was loud. Chapter 1. Come. Complete. So, here we are. Stranded. In the great American wild, with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail, or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased, like I saw in that one plane crash movie? I know, dude. First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake oh. may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste. Some would say. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Kick door. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. Whoa. And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You listened it for me. Get under your bed now. You can blame this app. Okay. So, Time if I were a beer, down. where would I be hiding? Beep, Hello, everybody. Beep, Welcome. Beep, 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 what beep. are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beard art, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved stuff. his accessories. <clears throat> Th hmm. Like, think it's lost. Sage, you should start thinking about some games I'm gonna need to play after this one because I need more games. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> I have played so many games. Oh. And I only need to wait. Oh, for like hell yeah! Or seven more days oh, oh. Jackpot! For a game hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. See. You just cut a hole in it? Mm -hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah. Seven it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, er, well, I'm second most. I'm looking for two is okay, out. I'm gonna leave you two alone and yeah, go look well. for some more party supplies. I am, bro. Don't rush me. Alright, well, I'll actually punch you. No violence. Why? Because no violence. Too bad. Well, no violence. Harem Buys this crap. Mm. Big man walking past a window. That's boring. Mm. Hello, old friends. Oh, yeah. Scared Jacob? Leave prompts. I'm gonna scare Jacob because he sucks. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay, have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. Oh my. Alright, now where should I hide? Gotta hide somewhere smart. Jacob! Emma? Hello? Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. Scared of clowns? What? No, they're they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean, yeah. Wow. Well, God dang it! I wish you think got it's funny that. now, little boy. I oh, because you want to join twenty of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal. I oh, that is creepy. I. What? Moment's gone. Not forgotten. Oh, you. 
One, two, why? Three, harvest the mask. Yes, thank you. I hated that. Oh, what an awful mask opportunity. Honestly, I wish she was more scary. <laughs> I need to find myself a hidden card. What is it? It is a This goes locked. <laughs> Kick door called Jacob. Yeah, let's call Jacob. Jacob, <laughs> come check this out. Oh, uh, <laughs> all righty then. Door, buckle up because you. Are about to meet your maker. Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. What's my favorite song? Whoa. Can you guess? Fucking mother love. Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder if I kept this place locked up. Guess. It's so hard. It's totally not on my recommended stash. on my SoundCloud. What? I can't no. Just I mean, he left there. us stranded here. It's like, Narcissistic um. Narcissistic <clears throat> personality human disorder. Rights or whatever. Sure. Because I still like that. Now, let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And yes, a gun. Let's go. Code. I'm giving it to the people who deserve it. I'm not giving it to the people who don't. I wonder, okay. I wonder what would happen if I just left the gun in that room. Jacob, check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a bear do this? The truth is out there. Achievement. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> ammo? More ammo. What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Wh oh. 
Fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. The fireworks are useful. The fireworks are heavily useful. I am taking those. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, life. um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops! Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops! Thank you. What are butter pops? <sighs> no! What? I can't believe it! Um, okay, um... <clears throat> Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my God, they're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing, like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Well, you're gonna love them. Well, I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. A wheelbarrow. Oh, huh? I'm actually confused by Ladies the Ladies first. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which way? sanctum it's just an office this is where the magic happens <laughs> okay yeah let's just make this quick sure just give me a sec to get this going and engage podcasts yeah all right Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like, the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bonafide. Boner. Fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. My phone won't work for that. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? You would not be down here as I record. <laughs> not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. On my own. That's my job. You're not part of my videos, Dean. Until I decide so. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Ooh, yes. Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date, uh... Mmm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode, though. Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's 
weird. I thought I heard someone. Yeah. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. <laughs> God, I hate this one. <laughs> Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? Caleb and I like them. Kaylee. Yeah, me, oh. I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for um. Bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah. He said they don't really come around because he's got the gun. To... Yeah. Bears, huh? Bears. You really think bears Just leave are it alone. Just leave it alone. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I bet the bears are having enough fun being torn to pieces. Dude, we're gonna be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it's it's like my mom always said, if you want to party, you gotta bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not gonna fuck a bear. <laughs> the most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Your call, man. Oh, we're gonna already have one gun, so I think we're good for now. Plus, my aim is on expert level. I can easily use any weapon in this game. Well, hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> Playful, suspicious. Hmm. To a trap door. Playful. Let's I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Uh huh. Why? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. Alright, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Ooh. Shut trap door, climb down. Oh, no, what do I do? <clears throat> do I... Should I climb down into a dun... Into the underground? This trap door next to Chris's... Um, behind Chris's desk, or shut it? Man, I gotta do stupid first to actually make it somewhere, so let's go. I'm not gonna die, right? Alright, you know what? No, no, nothing really bad happened. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, hey. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? Oh, no. no. Maybe. Just shut I up. I know that area. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride.
Come on, he's not gonna know. Okay, just be careful. What do you think I'm gonna do, break it? Come on. Oh. That's a design flaw. Mm. <laughs> oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. You did, so stop. <clears throat> Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's, you're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine, don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but. Nothing but that. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just, Trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. Yeah, I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's gotta be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer.
was that? It's probably nothing. Okay, these are boring. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Nice. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. It'd be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Oh, God. Mm, rocky road. Shady glade. Shady glade. Rocky road. Shady glade. Let's go this way. God, are you okay? I'll be okay. <laughs> Come on, I'll spot you. I think we're back near the path again. Oh, 
I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just... Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. You'll figure it out. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing, tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting then which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. Mommy, you're dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> At least we gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? Mm, I got a pretty good look. Ew. I think she was coming on to me. <laughs> Got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. We should head back. It's all right, then leave it.
finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh. I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? Thought you hated that phrase. 
Big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep it to when I need a little pick me up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Special delivery! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did that gun come right, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Oh, come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old fashioned shootout. First prize. Peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. Ain't nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well the main party's not gonna die just cause you're off on a little side quest. Come on! All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. <laughs> okay, so. Just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually- Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes, got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch this gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me or is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you, bye, bye. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? fun. How was your little one-on-one -on -one with Emma? Oh, dude, it's incredible. She's totally still into me. Really? Yeah. Just gotta figure out this whole long-distance thing. Is that what she wants? How would I know what she wants? Well, I mean, you could ask her. <laughs> I could ask. <laughs> That's funny. Well, speaking of, let me show you how a real man Shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <sighs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obvs. I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry 
where you'll have to defend yourself using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Nice shot. Lucky. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Huh. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this fucking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. <sighs> Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter like next time? Hey, I didn't want to <laughs> say it, but you're both very mean. Blam, we thought this was over. What the whoa. Pop pop, peanut butter butter pops. Okay. New idea. Party game. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? <laughs> okay, house rules are someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. 
Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I... Uh, I... Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Dare. Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Dylan, let's go. <laughs> Always happy to please. Shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Caitlin. Caitlin. What do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, that's kind of a boring question. Got an answer. Well, the answer is, I don't know. That's the truth, sorry. So, guess it's my turn. Nope. What? I smell bullshit. Okay, fine, you got me. I wanted to be a street performer. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Well, um. A street performer? You mean like, um, <laughs> like... No, asshole. Like a mime or, you know, one of those statue guys that move when you give them a dollar. Caitlin is a mime? Yeah, no, I just can't imagine that. Thanks, Ryan. Well played. Now it's my turn. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss... Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick? Uh. <laughs> well then. Um, uh, sorry. Nick, this is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good idea. I choose Nick. M? Seriously? <laughs> Guys. Guys! Thank you, Nick. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? 
It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's girlfriend. <laughs> the fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Bargeezy? What? I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? You return without any more of my cards. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again, you can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Enjoy and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.